When we have a big project on our hands, usually this means rendering out a lot of images. One easy and fast way to approach this is by taking advantage of the new option to render multiple views simultaneously on Chaos Cloud. We'll show you how we can prepare our project for cloud batch rendering using Chaos Cloud in a few easy steps. As you can see, we have a few named views and we want to render all of them simultaneously. Now let's adjust the render settings for this batch. From V-Ray's Asset Editor, let's go to the Settings tab and make sure we are not in interactive mode. The rest of the settings are up to you and your project's needs. I will be using a high preset, and because I want to show you a little trick with Chaos Cloud, I will leave the progressive rendering on. Now that we've set render settings, we can send our batch to Chaos Cloud for rendering. Let's open the Batch Rendering menu. Here we need to load the project or projects we want to render. In our case, since we want to render images only from that project, we can just right-click on the batch window where we have the option to add the current project. As you can see, all of the views in that project are loaded in the list. I will select all of them and disable them. Then I will select only the views I would like to be rendered on the cloud. To finish, we need to click on the Cloud button. Now, Rhino will ask if we want to save our project. I have already done that, so I will choose No. Now V-Ray will export all of the views and send them to the cloud. Chaos Cloud will open in our web browser, and from here we can create separate projects for our renders or add to an existing one and rename our views if we haven't already. Because I used progressive rendering, I can do some more adjustments and set a credit limit for each job and still get a usable image. That way, Chaos Cloud will stop rendering when a job has reached the specified credit limit instead of when the noise threshold is met, so we can generate quick and cheap preview renders for our views. Now that everything is set, all we have to do is click Submit, and Chaos Cloud will do the rest. We can also easily check in on our render's progress, even from our cell phone. Once the renders reach the credit limit, the renders will be paused. Thus, we can render a lot of images while we are working on our local machine and be more efficient.